The first Sipdai chair was a lounge chair with three articulating panels that kind of conform to the body. To start to expand the zip tie chair line, I've started working on a side chair. So here I'm cutting out the seat plate. I did two plunge cuts to make a slot in the front. And you'll see how that interacts with the base later. So now I've just made the measurements for and am cutting the back. Just rectangles with uh, little triangles cut out of the quarters. Now we have the brace plates for the seat shell, two trapezoids. Now I'm beginning to work on the base. So the base is essentially a box made of four U-shaped pieces of plywood. Drilling the holes for the connections, this will be the back. For each cut to keep it nice and straight, I'm clamping down a straight edge with some uh, quick release Craig clamps. If you don't have a set of these, I'd highly recommend them. So the back's very narrow, um, only about 12 inches wide because the base tapers. Now I'm marking out for the front. And this one's a little tricky because it has a projecting um, piece that notches into the seat. So I do plunge cuts on the interior. It's where you put the front part of the base plate of the circular saw against the material and start up the blade and kind of rock into the material. And then I finish out the inside corners with a little handsaw. Now I'm working on the sides. They have a slightly sloping top, which makes the whole seat recline a little bit for ergonomics. Apologies for the light changing here, working in a natural environment. So now for the assembly. I start with the seat shell. Notice I'm keeping the zip ties pretty loose at this point so I can retain some flexibility in the, in the system. Attaching the back. And I kind of pull the back around. And I tighten up all the zip ties kind of sequentially. Flipping it over. Once they're all tight, it's pretty rigid, except you can kind of twist it a little bit. So now you see the base. I'm attaching the front to one of the sides. The first couple ties in the base are always tricky. I always start and finish the tie on the inside of the chair, which I've found allows you to draw it the tightest. For the next version, I'd like to make the corners of the legs interlock kind of like a box joint, which I think will help the zip ties draw, draw them even tighter to one another. So now I got three sides on. Now the back. The back's a little easier to put on because now the base is standing up on its own, not flopping around. Now I'm just clipping the tails off all the ties, kind of snap the seat shell onto the base. Now, unfortunately, I think from my scale models uh, made out of cardboard to the plywood model, since the cardboard models don't really have any thickness, I miscalculated where the back of the legs meets the back of the seat shell. So there's like a little half, three-quarter inch gap there. I have to fix that next time. 
The end result is super sturdy with just a little bit of flex in the back, which is nice. So here's a parade of prototypes. I did several half scale models, two full scale models out of cardboard, and now the plywood version that I can actually sit in and test for comfort and durability. Thanks so much for watching. Check me out at Object Gorilla or ObjectGorilla.com.